How's it going everybody and welcome back to another scan time video. Today what we're going to be having a look at is how to set up security on an HMI. Now before we get started what I'd like you to do is give the video a like, comment below to let me know that you're watching or if you would like to suggest another video that you'd like to see and also hit the subscribe button if you're watching us on YouTube or if you're watching us on Facebook give the Facebook page a like that way you can stay up to date with more new videos. Let's get started today. So what is security? Well, when we set up an HMI, we usually set up security on that HMI to restrict access to certain users. So for example, you might have several layers of security on the shop floor. You might have the operator level and the operator level is simply allowed to monitor and maybe start some automatic testing. You then might have the maintenance level and the maintenance level, they might be able to do some manual testing. So they might be able to operate the valves, operate the pumps, operate motors, etc., manually. And then you might also have the engineering level, which might be the top level and that level there gives you access to everything on the HMI even the behind the scenes stuff as well. So what we would do inside of WinCC is we would simply just go down to user administration. Double click user administration and this will pop up by default and this has already been set up by Siemens. You can change all of this however, however you might want to set it up as and what we'll do is we'll show you how to change some of these fields here. So we got two tabs, we got the user tab and we got the user group tab. The user group is this area down here. Now you can see here there's already been two set up. You've got administrator group and then you've got user group. We might change these names slightly. And then you've also got the individual users that have been set up here and their passwords and the settings for that user. Now if we just go to user groups first of all, you will then see here administrator group and you then got users. What I want to do is I'm going to create two levels of security for our HMI. I'm going to create maintenance level and then I'm going to create operator level. So here where it says administrator group, I want to change this to maintenance. And where we see users, I want to change this to operator. Like so. And you'll notice when I've actually changed between these groups, the authorizations change at the bottom here as well. So for maintenance, they've got access to the entire HMI. They can have, they've got user administration, they've got monitor, and they've got operate. Whilst if you just click on the operator, they've simply got operate. Now again, these authorizations can be changed and these are similar to the security levels. How much do you want to restrict a certain user to allow them to do certain things? So we're just gonna leave them as normal here. We're just going to leave it as user administration monitor and operate but like i say you can change these to whatever you want a certain security level and restrict them from doing certain things it's just to make it easier for when you actually set up your security on the hmi so you can understand what you're setting up here inside of the users now you'll then see maintenance and you'll see operator and you'll notice there inside of our users we've got one user already and that there is administrator what i want to do is i want to change that to scan time and scan time is going to be the maintenance level so if we just click on the scan time user there you'll see it's set up to maintenance level if i want to change that to operator i would just select that as operator and that gives me the lowest level of security whilst maintenance gives me the highest level of security so i'll just check maintenance there now I'm going to add a password for scan time. Now the password is going to be super secure. We're going to set this up as password. And then I'm just going to confirm the password, which is password. And then I'm just going to check this box here. You've also got this checkbox here, automatic log off. Sometimes we would leave this checked, sometimes we wouldn't. It depends upon what the client wants. So automatic log off would simply mean that after five minutes, the actual user will log off and then the person using the HMI would then have to log back in again if he wants to access certain areas. I'm gonna leave this as unchecked. So I'm just gonna uncheck that area there. And you'll see here we've got number, which is the number of that user. And then we've got a little bit of a comment about what that user can then do. I'm going to create another user and I'm going to create this as operator and again I'm just going to set the password up as password and here as password there we go and again I'm just going to take off automatic log off so it's not going to log me off automatically I'm going to manually do it and we'll show you how to set that up as well now when we select operator I'm just going to make sure that the operator group is now set up as well and that there is my levels of security your security situation might be a lot more in depth this is just an example remember 
So once we've got our user administration set up, all we're gonna do is we're just gonna close down user administration, and then we're just gonna open up our screens and we're gonna open up the home screen. That's all we're looking at at the moment, just nice and simple. And let's just say that when we go to the control aspect, we don't want the operator to go inside of there and operate the equipment manually. That is gonna be for the maintenance level. So for me to restrict any access to this screen here, all I would then do is click the button, go to properties, and then at the bottom of the properties, you've got security. And you'll see here, runtime security authorization. And if I just click on the three dots here, you will then see we got user administration, monitor, and operate. And these are our three levels of security. So remember the operators can simply operate whilst the maintenance guys can monitor, operate, and have user administration as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make sure that user administration is checked. If I just checked operate, then that would allow the operators to sign in and then access the screen as well. I'm gonna make sure that user administration is checked so the operators can't actually do anything from here. I'm then just gonna select the checkbox and then that's gonna set up user administration. Now, you remember before I set that automatic log off was unchecked. So at the moment, if a maintenance engineer comes in and he clicks on control, it'll ask him to sign in, he'll then sign in, but he's got no way of actually being able to sign out. So what we can actually do is we can also set up a log in and the log off button as well. So I'm gonna create two new buttons here. Control C that, and just move that over here, and then copy that one and then just move that one to the left, to the right hand side here, like so. And I'm just gonna select the control first button here. I'm gonna change this to log on. And then I'm gonna check this second control button. I'm gonna select, set this to log off. Now, to set up the log in and log off, all we would do is just click on the log on, select events, and then where we see activate screen, just delete that and then select add function, drop this down, and what you want to go to is you want to go to user administration right here, show log on dialog. Select show log on dialog, and what that will do is when the operator or when the maintenance engineer clicks on the log on button, the login dialog will then pop up. Then what we need to do is go to the log off button. Again, just delete the activate screen, I'm not interested in that. Select add function, and then this time I want to select log off. And there we go. That there is now our user security set up on this HMI. What I'll do is I'll then set the trend screen up, for example, to then allow us to log in as an operator as well. So we can see that actually happening as well. So I'm just gonna to go to authorization, select operate, and then check the box there. And that's all I want to do there. Now I'm gonna save the project. So what's gonna happen here is when anybody clicks on the control button, it's gonna ask them to log in if they haven't already done so. If anybody clicks on the trend, it's gonna ask them to log in if they haven't already done so. Operators will be able to access the trend as well as the maintenance department, whilst the maintenance department will only be able to access the control. So now I'm just going to select the simulator. It'll then pop up with the home screen. And what we'll do is we won't log in just yet. I'm just gonna click on the control, make sure the dialog pops up, which it does, so it's asking us now to log in, and I'll click on the trend, and that there is also asking us to log in. If I then click on log on, it asks us to log in as well, and then log off would simply log us off if we're logged in. So what we'll do here is we'll log in first of all, and we'll log in as an operator, like that. And then the password, as we set it before, is password, and then I'm just gonna say okay. Now I should be able to access the trend screen, which I can do because I'm logged in as an operator. But if I go and try and access the control screen, I can't do so because I'm logged in as an operator. So now I'm gonna sign in as maintenance, which is under scan time user. So if I just click on control here, I'm gonna type in the username as scan time, enter that, then select the password, enter that, say okay to that, and now when I click the control, I can now access my control screen, and now I can then toggle the inputs and outputs from here. Go back to the home, select log off, and then that there should log me off. So now if I click control, it's asking me to log back in again. 
and that there is user security set up on an HMI. Hope you've enjoyed this short little video and I look forward to seeing you again. Have a good one.